On January 2nd, two days before the Cotton Bowl, A&M practice inside Cowboy Stadium for the first time on the trip up here to Dallas. And we are joined by defensive back DeShazer Everett after that opening workout inside this venue. And first, just uh, tell me how things went out uh, went out there today as you, as you get ready to play in this massive stadium yet again. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different from most stadiums. You know, it's bigger and everything. And you have to get used to it. It's like a different depth perception when you're looking at it and everything. But overall, I think we did pretty good. You know, we were stepping it up as a team, getting ready for the game. And we just have to keep, keep pushing, go watch film and study them more. And then one of the reasons the Aggies are here is that big win over Alabama. Your play at the end was instrumental in that victory. A lot of people are going to remember that interception yes. for quite some time. Can you take me through that, that monumental play? Well, uh, honestly, I lined up on the wrong side because I was supposed to be to the one receiver side. But uh, I switched the people with Dustin Harris, and then uh, I seen the motion coming, and I was like, I remember this play. We went over, like, the whole six weeks before that, and then, like, we're getting to it. And Steve looks at me while he's running. He's like he's trailing them, so I just back up so I can have depth to split them. And, like, I seen the quarterback looking straight at him, so I just drove and. Just caught the pick. <laughs> a great play, and I'm sure you'll remember it for quite some time. But now you're here. You're going to take on Oklahoma on Friday night. Do you think their offense is a lot like the Aggie offense, one you've been kind of looking at in practice all season long? Oh, yes, sir. They 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 pass the ball a lot. You know, they got they got some good receivers, good speed. You know, great routes and everything. And but the one thing like they they don't go as up tempo as us. So. That'll help us out, get lined up, and you know what I'm saying? And we're conditioned for up tempo, so like not going up tempo, it, it really like slows things down and gives us time to like gather ourselves and everything if things get a little hectic. So it's pretty much the same, but you know, just not as up tempo, so we'll be all right. And these bowl games, I mean, uh, if you win them, people say it's going to lead to a good off season workouts and spring ball. Do you think that that's the case? If you get a win here on Friday, it's a boost as you go into getting ready for the next season? Well, yes, sir. The last game of the season is the first game of the next season, basically. You know, you, you got to win at the end of the season. You go into that next season, you know, hyped up and just ready, you know. And, like, it makes people respect you, honestly. Like, you win in bowl games. Not every team wins bowl games. Like, you see good teams that's, like, losing bowl games that you expect to win. And it's like, you don't want to be that team. And like, you want to go home with the hat on, the, cha the championship hat, you know, after the confetti falls and everything. So just want to be the team to win. All right, thanks to Shazer and good luck on Friday night. Thank you. The Shazer Everett right here on 12th Man TV.